Yeah, I mean, as a professional chess player, sometimes we have to face the difficult situations, just like this when you were losing a quite important game, which I faced in different tournaments. Okay, take as example in back to two thousand six when I was playing the World Girls Chess Championship under twenty, I lost a completely winning game. And that was a quite crucial game because if I could have won that, even draw that, so finally I could be the I mean the champion of the tournament. Unfortunately, I completely made an unbelievable blunder and uh, I threw it away. But uh, still, you know, the tournament going on, so you have to be psychologically ready for the next game. So you cannot be too emotional just because you lose a game, and you should. Also, think a little bit like what kind of mistakes you made during this game. Is it because of the technical reason, which probably you need to conclude later on to see how to improve, or there are some like psychological re reasons, or something happened, something interfered your thinking. So that's all the elements you should think a little bit, but don't too much. I mean, after the game, just relax a little bit because sometimes the game lasts probably five or six hours. So we need to keep our energy. And just、uh, to have some work or do some of your hobbies, listen to music, be relaxed, and the next day fully focus on the new game. Because as a as an athlete, so we have to face both the winning situation and the losing situation. So you need to have a very very stable mind to face the different situations. So generally speaking, I think the. Psychology is one of the most important element, and also,、um, it's like you need to maintain what is your general goal. You shouldn't just be too involved into that game itself or the things which makes you、um, disappointed itself.